Hello. I spend around two to three hours walking alone during the AM hours every night, and have done so for years, probably a thousand plus hours total. My reason for these walks no longer exists, thus I am stopping, and have decided to write some of my experiences into a thread, with more later if anyone cares. I will start with my most recent one, which happened a few nights ago. I was walking down a path to the entrance to the woods. As I was about to enter, I could see a flashlight walking down a path in the woods coming towards me, appearing to be scouting the area for something. I decided to wait near the entrance until they passed, which is still a few hundred yards from civilization, or any light at all. As they got closer, I could make out a male voice talking to someone over my very loud music. I assumed he was on the phone. Nothing too odd. However, I expected him to walk past me. He did not. He stood around four feet to the side of me. It was really dark, so he was just a silhouette, but I could see that he had a massive fuck off German Shepherd on a leash. He's still noticeably talking, but it didn't seem like he was trying to get my attention. At this point, I turn away and start walking towards the woods, when I can clearly hear him shouting something. That is when I pull my earphone out of my ear and hear something to the effect of, it's the police, take your earphones out and stop walking away. Realizing that he was in fact shouting at me the entire time, I turn around and quickly say I'm sorry, I didn't know, and all that jazz. He asks for my name, what I'm doing there, and how long I had been there. I tell him. Then he says, well I'm looking for someone and clearly you're not them. Have you seen a girl around here? To which I reply that no, I hadn't, and then he walks off back into the woods. That's the end of the story. I walked away and went home. Not the creepiest I know, but I am left with questions. Why was he looking for a girl, in the dark, alone at that time? And also, if he were looking for an armed criminal, appearing to ignore him and walking away, could have ended very badly for me. I'm thankful he didn't lose his cool. That is, if he was even a cop. He did say he was, but I never saw his uniform as it was so dark. I haven't seen anything on the news. I just hope the girl is okay, whatever happened. My other story is a lot scarier, yet even less conclusive. This one starts at a local park around a year ago. For context, this park, although in a nice suburban area, is supposedly notorious for being rough. However, in my countless hours walking there, this is the only vaguely scary experience I've had. I have never felt anything but comfortable otherwise. I was standing by an entrance to the park, maybe 20 feet inside of it, at 2 a.m. in the morning. It was pitch black and I couldn't even see a few feet in front of me. The only light is the faint twinkle of streetlights beyond that far side of the park. As I'm standing there, earphones in with my music as always, I could have sworn I saw some movement in the distance. I squint my eyes and focus on a spot on the far side, trying to make out what I noticed for maybe 10 seconds. At this point, I realize I'm not looking into the distance. I'm looking directly at someone a mere 10 or so feet in front of me. I shit you not, that feeling of realization is the most powerful thing I've felt in my entire life. Felt like I was in a horror movie. Heart racing, I turn around and book it to the entrance behind me and start walking down the street towards my home. I'm fairly shaken up, but you know, there's nothing to indicate the guy had any sinister intentions or even knew I was there. Could have been doing the same thing as me. I'm now under the streetlights walking past some of the well-off houses, which felt like safety to me. However, I then turned around and saw a hooded man, a stereotypical road man, as we'd call them, emerge from the same entrance as me and turn my direction. He was around the same distance I would have expected had he started leaving the same time as me around 10 to 15 feet behind me. Again, nothing sinister probably, I thought, 
but just to be careful, I picked up the pace a bit. This street is around 200 feet before it merges with the main road. After around halfway, I turned around and see this guy is directly behind me, 10 feet as he was earlier. I think to myself, well that's weird. I'm walking pretty fast and this guy's kept up. So now, I start to walk as fast as I possibly can without breaking into a run. I specifically remember going as fast as a walk would allow me to. I maintain this for another hundred odd feet until I get to the main road. Then I turn around and this guy is literally five feet behind me. He is closer than he was before I sped up rapidly. Borderline pant shitting moment. I full on ran all the way home, barefoot and sliders by the way, without looking behind me until I got to my front door. And that was that. Never saw him again. Could be a coincidence, sure. Maybe I happened upon a 2 a.m. power walker. But also, maybe I almost got robbed. I don't know. If I had, it'd be in a different subreddit. Hey everyone, I know it's been a while since I posted, and uh, I'm glad I could finally get something out. I'll try to post more frequently, but, you know, promises, promises. If you want to hear more stories like this from r slash creepy encounters, let me know. Also, if you like this narration, please like and subscribe. It really helps. Until next time, this is Sergeant Scare.